What's going on guys? It's OmniArk and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing a GT racing chair. Now this video is not sponsored at all. I just really, really need a gaming chair. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see over here, but um, I can literally take the arm off of my current chair. It broke during a live stream. Anyway, let's go ahead and open up this chair. The first thing we have to do is open it and it says on the box, please, I think it's upside down. I can't read it. It says something about inspecting the pro uh, product before signing or something. And it also says not to cut it, but we're gonna cut it. Okay, we're pretty careful. I don't think we're gonna mess this up. Uh, I've never messed anything up in my life, and uh, that's a lie. So let's see what we can do here. I'll try not to use the, the knife as much as possible, but I feel like I won't really have a choice. But uh, either way, man, this is gonna be a pretty big upgrade from uh, what I currently am using. The chair that I have now is, it was like on sale for like $60 at like, uh, office max or something like that or staples I don't remember and uh, I got it because it was cheap and it's lasted me probably two years but it's very small it doesn't really have any lumbar support uh, the cushions are kind of worn out already so you really you, you get what you pay for so um, in terms of like a review that's kind of what I'm gonna be comparing this to although this is a little bit more expensive as long as it lasts longer uh, or is a more uh, pre uh, superior product I guess for the time that it does last then I think it'll be worth it. So um, let's pop this open. We should be done with the knife. Okay. Now the worst part about this is you have to build it. All right. You have to build these chairs. Obviously they don't come pre-built. Um, and I don't know how that would work anyway. So I'm not a fan. Oh my God. Actually, this is going to be bigger than I thought it would be. And, and guys, this is really heavy too. Like I, I, it's probably like 40 pounds or something like that. I guess that's not that heavy, but regardless. So we got a little, got a little booklet. This is, uh, it's good that it's got pictures because I don't know how to read, but it does tell you the instructions on how to set this thing up. So let's go ahead and uh, start. Oh my God, there's so many, there's so many pieces. So this is kind of what it looks like in here. Um, there's a lot of pieces, lots of diagrams, lots of things going on. They did use comic sounds on the back here. So <sighs> that's actually really funny. They actually did that. Okay. There's 24 screws, man. I'm going to be here all day. I'm going to be here all day. All right, let's go ahead and start opening this stuff up. So this is the one of the pillows or the only pillow. I don't actually know how many there are. Uh, it looks like there's probably only one, but uh, I can't really tell. Um, oh, there's two actually, there should be two. So there should be one from, for your head. There should also be one for your lower back or upper back, depending on where you move it. Uh, and this is the all black version of the chair. So every, um, everything will be black on this chair. I'm not a fan of like the black and red or black and blue or different colors. I don't know. That seems kind of, uh, weird to me. <sighs> Smells just like the factory. So obviously this is not leather, right? This is not leather based on the price of the chair. You can't expect that, right? So this is some sort of fake leather. Um, so we'll have to see how well that holds up the stitching on here. Everything looks like there's no like um, little phrase or anything like that. No, like, uh, stitching sticking out. So that's pretty good. We're off to a decent start. Um, this is the base of the chair and man, this is, this is heavy. Uh, I didn't expect it to be this heavy. So if you are on hardwood, like I am, you probably want to put down something on the floor to protect the wood. Unfortunately, when I moved into this apartment, I did not have that foresight because it was the first time that I had a hardwood floor and uh, kind of scratched the shit out of it. But I don't know. I guess the, hopefully the landlords don't care about that. But this this chair is much heavier than my current chair. And so it'll probably do a bit more damage. But the uh, you know, the damage is already done. So here we are a lot heavier than I really anticipated. I figured it would just be, you know, I, I don't know. I guess it does. It's supposed to support your whole body. Um, this is is all of the screws that come with it and they also give you a little allen wrench to kind of tighten everything which is pretty standard and then there's also some caps for those screws so they don't look kind of ugly um you know you could just you, you, you just looking at the screws on the side there right so let's put the star base on the ground here let's kind of get that out of the way now this is the back of the chair um this is uh it's got some nice weight to it honestly it's kind of the the appropriate weight this is what i would expect right the the star base was pretty heavy this is exactly how i expected this to be in terms of weight so let's go ahead and open this up obviously this is the same uh sort of material as the um as the headrest or whatever that pillow is body backrest i don't know um and it looks like maybe there were 
uh, stickers here or something. I'm not really sure. I don't really know if you guys can see it, but along the seams here, there is uh, like some sort of shiny substance. So I don't know if they like, I don't know if they like coat the stitching or something like that to kind of keep it in place maybe. Um, I'm not really sure. That's very odd. I'm going to try to clean that off. Um, it's it's hard to really notice, but I can absolutely tell so I'm gonna try to clean that off and see uh, Exactly how that goes now. There's also I can feel some sort of like frame inside the back of the seat And it looks like there's like one little screw that kind of sticks out. I don't know if you can see that but uh, It's it's like there's a an indent or a, a dent coming up out of the frame So it's kind of like the material here is kind of dented there like it's raised in that one spot is what I'm trying to say guys It's early. So give me give me a break here with my uh with my words but otherwise um it looks really cool again i'm gonna try to clean it and hopefully that makes that um shininess go away but i love the all black i love the black on black um i think the other ones these side panels are like different colors and stuff not a fan of that the black on black i think looks incredible so let's go ahead and move that off to the side all right now this is where your ass is gonna go this is the base or the bottom of the chair um, this is very heavy. This is actually heavier than the top piece there, um, which is uh, very exciting. So this is a huge, this is a big chair, guys. This is big. This is much larger than the chair that I currently have, not only in terms of like the height of the chair, but also it just, it's just a, I don't know, it's, it's very heavy. It just feels very large. Um, also, that's a very squishy cushion. I like that. That is very, very nice. Uh, way nicer than the one that I currently have, which is great. Now we do have this, um, these crevices on the sides. You already know that this is where all the Doritos are gonna go, right? You already can anticipate the Doritos going in these edges here. It's also probably where I'm gonna put my phone if I'm sitting in my chair, probably just like put in that little slot there. Uh, but this is a very, very um, squishy and firm it, I know those are like contrasting words, but the cushion is thick, okay? It's got multiple C's. Um, and it looks like it's uh, maybe Velcroed in, which is cool. So you can kind of uh, maybe take it off to clean or something like that. Um, although it does look pretty secured. Okay, no, you definitely cannot take it off. That would probably ruin the chair. So I don't know um, why there's some, it appears to be some Velcro down there. Um, but this is a very deep crevice. Like I can really, I can fit like my, my, I don't know if you can see that, but I can fit like half of my hand in there. So that's how thick the cushion is. Very, very cool. I'll show you the back side over here. Um, so you guys get a kind of a good idea of like the size of this thing, right? Um, so this is basically the size of my chest. Uh, I am around 5'10", so that's kind of that's kind of that. So let's move this on to the side. We'll see what else is in here. Uh, this is this looks like the little plastic pieces that go on the uh, on on the shaft on the bottom that that connects the you know the bottom the base of the chair to the star thing. Um, so just some plastic here. Move that off to the side. These things are important but not exciting. So uh, we'll we'll move those. Very very uh, kind of flimsy plastic here, although I don't think that really matters too much um, because it's just basically to cover up the metal. But oh my god, it came undone. Okay, we'll have to figure that out. So this is another pillow. This is probably the pillow for your head because it's smaller and uh, your head is smaller than your lower back. So that's my kind of uh, reasoning there. This is, yeah, it looks like it's just got the, the one strap here and it's just a nice squishy pillow, which is cool. It's about the size of my forearm, potentially a little bit wider and a little bit thicker. Um, and it's got a little strap on the back with some elastic, which is cool. Now I've seen a lot of these uh, zippers around all of the material here. Um, so I don't know if you're meant to kind of unzip it, but uh, oh yeah, you can. So that's actually pretty cool because if this, if the, if the material on the inside, um, and you guys can see, I imagine this is probably the same material they use for the entire chair. But um, if this material kind of gets like worn out or kind of gets packed down, you can just unzip it and refill it, right? Which is really, really cool. You don't have to go ahead and buy a whole new chair just because of the the um, the cushion is kind of worn out. So that's really nice. I like that you can do that. It's very easy and uh, that's cool. So this is the headrest. Let's move that off to the side as well. And then we've got the arms. So, all right. So this is the right arm and it looks like it has an adjustable uh, lever there, which is very cool. I like that a lot. Now, let me show you guys the arm on the chair that I'm currently using here. So you can see the one that I currently have is on the right. 
This has a little bit of a cushion with this fake leather material. This is actually more of a, uh, it, it does have some give to it. So it's, it's more of like a hard rubber almost, which is cool. I like that. I actually wish I could tell you more about this material. I don't really know. It's like a mix between rubber and plastic. I'm sure you guys are kind of familiar with what I'm talking about. Um, so I prefer that because it doesn't get worn down like this does. You can see it kind of is getting ripped on the sides and things like that. This will probably just need to be cleaned once in a while, which is cool. And also, um, this mechanism here, the lever is uh, plastic, but the entire um, rest of the arm here is metal, which is very, very nice because if you notice on here, the button broke off because the button was uh, plastic. So it completely exploded during a live stream. So um, this is an improvement certainly over what I've been using, which is great. And this is a very thick, strong metal, which is really nice to see. It's not like some flimsy, you know, sort of reinforced aluminum or something like that. It's like a very strong metal. So I like that. So let's go ahead and open up the rest of this. Now I did use a discount code um, for this chair. So I encourage you guys to go ahead and see if you're planning on buying one of these chairs, see if there's a discount code. I got this chair for about $155 and shipping was free. It came in about three days, which is absolutely crazy. I think I ordered this on Wednesday and it came yesterday, which is Saturday. So I guess technically four days, but yeah. It's, it actually came way faster than I thought it would. I think it came from like Ohio or something like that. Um, so it did come from the United States, which is uh, good to know because sometimes when you kind of order something a little bit cheaper, sometimes it comes from like China or another country and then you have to wait a long time for it to arrive and especially during COVID and things like that. Um, lots of things are delayed. So this looks like the piece that attaches to the bottom of the chair and you have the little, uh, the little locking mechanism on the side. Very, again, similar to the rest of the chair, very strong, um, heavy metal. Like this is a very heavy chair. And like I said, I think the entire construction is going to be very, very heavy. So keep that in mind. Um, again, with, with hardwood floors, you also have a tension knob here, which is not something that my current chair has. So that is very exciting. And we've got more plastic pieces to cover some of like the, I guess some of the metal pieces that are on the arms of the chair and whatnot, but that is everything in the box. There's some extra cardboard for uh, shipping. Oh, we've got this here. Well, I don't actually know what this is. Let's go ahead and open that up. I feel like we have everything. How is there more? I don't know. Let's, let's see. Let me get all this out of the way. I'm going to just clean this up really quick. Now inside this little box was like, we've got the wheels here and the wheels are actually pretty heavy. There are five of them, which is to be expected. Then we got some more metal brackets and like little adjustments. There's the handle here. So I don't know what this is all about. Um, and then we've got, it looks like some um, very tense coiled up metal. Um, this is probably for reclining the chair back and forth, which is actually really exciting. There's a lot of pieces here. So this is gonna be a long build. So let's go ahead and start it. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got the shaft. So I'm almost done building the chair. You can see there's no arms on this thing yet, but it's mostly there. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna finish up in just a couple of minutes. I think I only stripped uh, like one screw over here on the on the left side, and this is probably the part that I think is uh, less least impressive. Is like these plastic pieces on the left side here. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but it's it's like there's only one screw that holds it in, and so I think I over tightened it, thinking like it wasn't supposed to be like a little bit loose but apparently it's just going to be a little bit loose because there's only one screw that holds it in. So I think I stripped that one. Um, but yeah, besides that, everything has been really straightforward. It's been really easy to put this thing together. The instructions are very clear. Now, the other thing is that all the screws are slightly greasy, which, um, feels gross, but you know, I guess a little bit of lube goes a long way. You know what I'm saying? So I guess that helps the construction, but you know, all of the, um, all of the holes are very clearly drilled and it's uh, it's pretty clear there's no like there's no material in the way of any of these holes which has been really helpful when putting it together but because of that little bit of grease i've dropped this thing probably 100 times in the last hour and i'm not kidding that's been very frustrating now the instructions i did see they do say um note assembly is recommended to be carried out by two people listen gt racing gamers don't have friends or girlfriends or anybody at home to help them okay so what am i gonna do call my dad and have him cut like no we there's only one of us so i'm, I'm doing this the wrong way apparently because i am alone but anyway we're almost done let me finish this up and then we will uh do a little recap 
Okay, so it's been a little over two weeks since I built the GT racing chair and I've used it extensively in that period, I can assure you. Um, and th it's exactly what I was hoping for, exactly what I expected from a gaming chair. Now, there was one small little, uh, I guess, not really problem, but something that I had to address with the chair. And that was that I had to turn the tension knob on the bottom as tight as it could go. Because if I didn't do that, what would happen is if I would sit forward on the chair um, if I would sit towards the front of the seat so I'm gonna show you here if I would sit towards the front here and I would lean forward to like reach and grab something the entire chair since there was no tension um, it would actually tilt downwards and since it's so heavy it would actually kind of I if I didn't catch myself I would fall so that was one thing um, I had to just make it very very tight but besides that uh, the chair is exactly what I wanted exactly what I expected there is back support uh, the hardware for reclining is really really nice I can recline recline pretty much as far back as I want which is really really cool and it just functions exactly as I expected it would um, again the hardware is very solid it's very comfortable I enjoy the chair a lot I guess the only thing that I'm worried about is uh, uh, this here if you take a look the straps here um, are pulling pretty hard on the uh, on the on the pillow for your back support here uh, and so and it also it, it it pulls really hard when I go to adjust it it's very difficult so when I adjust it I actually find myself grabbing it by the straps just because I'm concerned that eventually these will rip over time um, and so that's another thing but Overall, I haven't actually had any problems. That's just kind of something that I'm uh, hopefully doesn't happen, but I anticipate could be an issue in the future. But again, overall, like for the price of this chair, uh, compared to other gaming chairs out there that are 200, 300, $400, like I really cannot complain at all for what I paid, right? I paid 150 bucks. Uh, it shipped in four, day, four days for free shipping. Like it's 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 awesome, right? So um, if you guys are interested in buying one of these chairs, like I said, this is not a sponsored video at all, but there will be an affiliate link in the description below if you want to kind of support my channel or as a way of, uh, you know, saying as like an appreciation for this unboxing video and, and this helped you make a decision, then again, affiliate link in the description below. It's not gonna cost you more to use that link, but it will help me out a little bit, which will be really, really nice. So I appreciate you guys. Also make sure to see if there's a discount discount code right because that will save you a little bit of money as well and we all know that saving money is good but anyway guys if you made it all the way to the end of this video i hope you guys will click that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new around here click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a youtube video comment down below any questions that you have about this chair specifically if you guys uh, have any questions about certain things features of the chair whatever comment them down below and i'll try to answer every single one of you guys as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter my discord is down there and as well my twitch if you want to see me live stream every single week with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace